Hey, I'm Tyler with Bike Rumor, and today I'm going to show you the Neopause air volume spacer from Formula. So the Neopause was designed to go into their Selva fork, which is a 120 to 160 millimeter fork, mainly designed to operate at the longer end of that travel range for Enduro. Right now we're going to talk about the Neopause, which is a dynamic air volume spacer. And what I mean by that is that it changes its size as the fork compresses. So as the fork compresses, it's compressing the air inside and that higher air pressure is actually what's squeezing this. So it's not the piston making contact, the piston is not coming up and squishing this between the top of the fork. It's simply the air pressure and you can add up to three of these in the air spring. So as opposed to the rigid plastic volume spacers of most forks or what they used to do was add oil to the air volume chamber or to the air chamber to adjust the volume of it is what this allows it to do is to change volume as your fork compresses what's cool about this is it will compress at whatever speed your fork is compressing so it can compress slow compress very fast the rebound however is always at the same rate and it does rebound very quickly this is not like a last room of the old where or a, a stress ball where it squishes back out slowly so it rebounds fast enough to be ready for the next big hit we're gonna show you some charts and graphs here. What it happens with a typical volume spacer, a hard rigid plastic one, is that you get a very severe ramp at the end. What this does is it softens that ramp. So you get a more linear fork with a little bit less progression at the end, which means it's not gonna feel quite as harsh at the end of your travel. The benefit to that is they say it makes the whole air fork feel much more like a coil spring. So a coil spring has a very linear compression rate. It also has a very linear rebound rate. So you end up with a fork that has a much more coil-like feel, much more predictable without any harsh ramps at the end. The other benefit is they say this thing, because it's a kind of rubbery material, can absorb high frequency vibrations, which means you're gonna end up with a much smoother feeling fork, even over the rough chatter and the little stuff. While Formula's official statement is that you should not use this in any of their forks because they haven't tested in it, Word on the street is you can put this into just about any other suspension fork you want and it will work just fine because there's nothing that's gonna damage anything inside, but use that at your own risk in other forks. And apparently they have had a lot of demand from racers and consumers to get these aftermarket. They are available aftermarket because you can add these to any prior generation Selva in which they'll fit. I hope that gives you a little bit more understanding of the, how the Neopause systems work and look for that on Formula's website as a standalone item. Thanks for watching.